Hey, what's up everyone, Ollie here. So I've been using the Apple Pro Display XDR for just over a month now. Wanted to give you my review and some of my thoughts. This video is sponsored by Fast Host. If you wait till the end of the video, you will have a chance to win the ultimate work from home setup worth up to 5,000 pounds. The design, as expected, this thing looks fantastic. I was really taken back by how good it looks when I was unboxing it, when I was setting it all up. It just looks incredible. The aluminum finish on it is absolutely beautiful, as you'd expect. It just looks so good. It looks expensive and you know, so it should really. Turning the vents on the back of the display into a sort of design feature, I feel like it's clever in itself, especially because of how bright this monitor gets. It does produce some heat and having all of those vents on the back, but also looking pretty good, it's pretty clever. The monitor is also quite thick, thicker than I expected. Considering how thin the new iMac is, I can only assume it's so thick due to just how bright it gets. It needs that space for cooling. The bezels as well are very small, not the smallest I've ever seen, but it still looks awesome. So one of the key features of the Pro Display XDR is the HDR capabilities. It supports 1000 nits of sustained brightness whilst also reaching 1600 nits in peak brightness. I don't make HDR content myself, so I feel like I'm not making the most of the HDR capabilities, but I can definitely tell the difference when I'm watching HDR content. If I have a HDR video playing in a separate window, you can actually see that part of the display being brighter than the rest of the display. The HDR seems to just come into play and it works really well, I can definitely tell. I also have the standard glass panel here. I didn't go for the matte finish, the anti-reflective finish, mainly because obviously it costs a thousand pounds more, a thousand dollars more. And at the same time, I don't actually have too much of an issue when it comes to reflections, especially where I have my monitor mounted and the way I have it mounted. There's nothing behind me to sort of create any reflections or anything like that. So I'm happy with the glass panel right now. Obviously, it's still going to reflect if you have lights or whatever. It's not going to be amazing at dodging those reflections, getting rid of them. But yeah, like I said, it's not too much of an issue for me. And I didn't want to cough up the extra thousand dollars just to have the nano texture display. And also apparently the nano texture display, it's very hard to clean. It's a very delicate texture. So I also didn't want to ruin it. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I've gone for the glass display. Issues. So there are a few issues with the display that I've noticed in the last month and a bit that I've been using it. The first one is, I did find that if you sit too close to the display, the corners of the display can appear darker. It's almost like there's a sort of vignette effect. It's really weird. Um, and it's definitely noticeable when you sit quite close to the display. There's also some slight luminance changes and color shifts, even if you're slightly off axis when looking at the display. It's most noticeable when you have a lot of white on the display. A lot of websites obviously have white backgrounds, so that's where I notice it most. But when I'm using apps with darker interfaces or I'm watching videos or looking at photos and stuff like that, I definitely don't notice it. I feel like I forget about it, if anything. These are issues with LCD displays in general. It's just one of the limitations when it comes to LCD displays. Are they enough of an issue for me to return it? No, I'm still happy with it. I don't mind these issues, like I said, it's just part of having an LCD display. And when I'm using it day to day, I really don't notice it that much anyway. The 6K resolution. So this was actually one of the key features for me when buying the display, one of the key benefits of getting the Pro Display XDR. It's difficult to explain how good it is having a 6K resolution until you start working on one. As I've mentioned in other videos, it's truly great when using apps like Figma, where I spend a lot of time designing, Lightroom for when I'm editing my photos, and Final Cut Pro for which I use for video editing. Now you could of course get a 32 inch 4K monitor and fit just as much into the screen and of course spend a lot less money. But due to the 6K resolution, the pixel density is at 218 per inch instead of 138 compared to a standard 4K monitor at 32 inches. That's a huge jump in pixel density and it means that text and UI elements are just so much sharper. I didn't buy the Pro Stand with my Pro Display XDR, mainly because I didn't want it to take up desk space. Having that Pro Stand, it does take up valuable desk space for me, and I have quite a shallow desk, so I much prefer having a monitor arm. At the same time, a monitor arm gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of movement. I'll leave a link to the monitor arm I currently have in the description below. It's not the best looking, but it works incredibly well with the Pro Display XDR, supports the weight no problem, and I have a bunch of movement, including up and down, rotating, tilting and swiveling. It's actually pretty useful as I can swivel the monitor around and use it as a reference when I'm doing something on the other side of the room. To attach it to the monitor arm though, you need to buy the visa mount adapter separately and that costs 
$200, which is just insane. I mean, it looks awesome, it feels awesome, it feels hefty, and it's made from aluminium, so it feels expensive. But still, it's a lot of money just for a Visa Man adapter. I might still end up buying the Pro Stand in the future when I get a bigger desk, but we'll see, because right now I'm quite happy with the monitor arm, and I'm actually waiting for an even higher quality monitor arm from Herman Miller. Connectivity. So I have mine connected up to a 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro from 2020. I have upgraded the RAM on this to 16 gigabytes. Don't know if that makes any difference when it comes to powering this display, but it handles the display, no problem whatsoever. I've had no glitches or graphic issues. The fan on the MacBook Pro also never comes on other than when I'm rendering a YouTube video. And even then, it's not every time either. It also doesn't get hot, not even that warm. And it's all done through one Thunderbolt cable, which is even better. This one cable transmits data to the display and powers my MacBook, making sure it's always charged up. But that is also where I think the display is disappointing because you can only use this with a Mac and you can only use it with a Thunderbolt cable. You can't connect this to a PC via HDMI or Display Port as it just doesn't have those ports. There's also three more USB-C ports on the back of the display and these can deliver USB 3.1 speeds, but only if you have a 16 inch MacBook Pro. With my 13 inch MacBook Pro, I only get USB 2.0 speeds. It's frustrating because I would have loved to use those ports for SSDs or SD card reader, something like that but I end up just using it to charge my AirPods. To get more connectivity out of my MacBook Pro, I actually have it connected to an Anchor Thunderbolt 4 dock. It's great, I'll leave a link to it if anyone is interested. Just gives me a ton more connectivity, SD card slot, all that sort of stuff. So I do love my Pro Display XDR. It's a fantastic monitor that does exactly what I want it to, whilst also looking superb. Is it worth it for me though? 100%. Due to the nature of my work, editing videos, editing photos, uh, designing in places like Figma and stuff like that, it just makes a lot of sense having a 6K resolution. Spending that $5,000 to have a display like this where I'm actually sitting behind it every single day, it's actually a very small investment compared to how much usage and how much money I would make from it. Would I recommend it to others? Unless you're a professional working in a similar industry to me, maybe sort of in the creative industry, I probably wouldn't recommend it. This monitor isn't targeted at the average Joe whatsoever. It is mainly targeted at creative professionals. I would still recommend the LG 5K Ultrafine display. It's a bit smaller, 27 inches. It has a 5K resolution, but it's a fifth of the price of the Pro Display XDR. And I still actually have one. I use it at home. I think it's great. So that's the one I would recommend if you're looking for a good high pixel, well, high pixel density display at 27 inches and you want to only just have one cable, Thunderbolt cable connected up to your Mac, that is the display I would recommend. I'm going to continue using my Pro Display XDR. I think it's great. It works really well for me. I like it so much that I might actually buy another one just to use at home. Thanks to Fasthost for sponsoring this video. Fasthost is a UK based web hosting company which offers a wide range of web hosting products and other services. Their aim is to support all types of businesses and entrepreneurs providing effective and affordable hosting solutions. I use WordPress for my own personal website and Fasthost has a dedicated WordPress hosting option. They offer an easy to use WordPress setup tool and a bunch of themes so you can get your own site up and running quickly. You can get WordPress hosting for just one pound per month for the first six months and you can get a free domain for the first year, as well as a two gigabyte professional mailbox and a free lifetime SSL certificate. Fasthost also offers cloud backup solutions. Running a business myself, I know how important it is to back up important files and stuff to the cloud. It's always worth investing in a good cloud backup solution in case the worst happens. Now for your chance to win the ultimate work from home setup worth up to 5,000 pounds, you have to answer my techie test question what year was email invented? Head over to the link in the description, enter your answer there, and you could win the ultimate work from home setup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe for more.